My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to another day of Ballad of, mm, Battle of the Palettes. I think that's what I'm going to go with calling this. If you have a better name for this kind of series, please do let me know. I'm completely open to any ideas and I'd love to know what you think. So today, a little while ago, I bought the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And for me, one of the big reasons I bought this palette is because it reminds me a lot and it has a lot of the colours that I loved and still love from the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette. A pastel rainbow is just something that I've been wanting for a long time and I find it really adds a lot of variety to colourful looks that you can blend out with and everything like that. So I sat down with this palette the other day and I found the dupes that exist in the Jawbreaker palette. You no longer can buy pastel goth and I mean we're not supporting Kat Von D anyway but I bought this before she came out as a anti-vaxxer so you know here it is so today I am bringing you a little eye look comparison I thought it'd be fun to play the game of what eyeshadow is on what eye again I did actually do this the other day but I didn't really like the look but I will share the look with you because I just think it's kind of fun to come along for the ride and guess what palette is which especially if you are familiar with the Kat Von D pastel goth are you someone who loved this palette as much as I did because <laughs> um, I'd love to know I just feel to me the Kat Von D pastel goth has a special place in my heart and it's one of those first really colorful palettes I bought and really was like whoa this is this is where eyeshadow is at for me this initially was 38 US dollars and had a limited release as most of Kat Von D's products do and the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker goes for 58 USD and it is permanent, so yay. And this goes for 58 USD. For an extra 20 USD, you are getting a bucket load more of colorful playtime. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with this palette and creating some looks. I haven't posted anything yet, but I thought I'd start off by sitting down and sharing this with you today and doing a look. So everything that's already on my face will be listed down in the description bar below. And I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So the other day when I did this look, I did a white, well, let's show you the look so you can guess from the first look here, but I did the colors in my crease and then a white cut crease. And it was the very first time I ever got a winged liner without using my stamp. So I'm very proud of that. But Take a guess at what side you think it is. I'll put the answer in the description bar. For this look, I will reveal to you in due time what side is which. So I took a, I sat down and swatched these palettes side by side together of the matching, like the matching colors. All the ones that come close enough together so we should have a picture up now and you can see it's a pretty good dupe. I know the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute is deemed a good dupe for this and one day I will own that palette. Um, it's just not, I don't know, like I've got, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a pile that I've made of the palettes that I need to play with. Um, I've got these palettes waiting to be played with and I just don't really, I, I, I don't need to buy stuff that I, at the moment but I'm looking forward to if Strobe Cosmetics has a really good Black Friday sale I'm definitely gonna probably hop on the creepy Co cute bandwagon so let's get into today's look I'm gonna try and use the same brush on each eye which means I'll be cleaning it off on this lovely sponge device thing in between just so we, you know like different brushes can have different effects all right so I'm gonna do this sort of in the order of the rainbow so the Roy G bib starting with orange on the inner corner Feel free to guess as we go along. Sometimes that can be a bit more fun. And um, <laughs> if that's watching this, I finally picked up this. So I did that down the, pa the MAC paint pot, um, but then I talked for too long. And so in between each one of cleaning the sponge, I also check that there's no pigment on the brush on my hand. So there's a bit of a difference going on right now, but oh well. I'm kind of liking this brush I'm using right now, so I think I'm going to stick it out with it and finally zoom you in. And the right side. Ta 
So I chose to do it in the Order of the Rainbow because I was kind of just hoping that Color Theory would look after me. Because if that's the Order of the Rainbow, like, that's how it should be, isn't it? We should, should just work. I mean, we'll find out. But it is always funny how different the shadows can look based on your eye, on your, like, on the swatches. As I sort of already found out with <laughs> that middle shade. I'm just going to dab some more of that yellow. Sometimes I just find it quite hard to hit sort of the bottom of my lash line. So going in like that helps. I'm sort of realizing, did I get this even even? I mean, it's semi there. Let me know if it's even, guys. I can't really tell. I mean, this is why a lot of those Instagrammers just do one eye, because like it's way easier. All right, so green, blue. I'm going to do the right side first for this one. And I'm just going to pack the blue, the remainder, and then I think I'm going to use my purples underneath my eye. I'm like, man, that pigment is crazy. I'm like, what? So let me know, do you have Kat Von D Pastel Goth? Did you ever want to buy it? Did you get into makeup after it? Oh no, I'm so glad that... There's so many colourful palettes out on the market nowadays. Just because it allows you to have a bit more range in who you want to buy from and support. Because for so long in Australia, Kat Von D was sort of like the main brand you could get in store that does colour. Though to be honest, there's not many, like in our stores, there's not much colourful palettes. And every time I go to Mecca, like our makeup store, wearing really bright colours, I tend to just more feel out of place. Because it's just like, I mean, and the same with Sephora as well. At least like we get a bit of heat of beauty here with her things, but there's not much on the shelf's choice when it comes to color. See, now I managed to put this one up. Oh, the other day of the shadows, because I put them in such a small spot, the amount of pigment they were picking up wasn't as big a deal. Today, I'm seeing the big differences on the eye, which is kind of fun. All right, now I'm just going to go on with a clean brush. I just want to blend these into each other. And then using this brush, I'm going to go into the white shade and just blend out the top with that, and maybe it will highlight a little bit. So let me know if where you live, you get much colourful range in the stores around you, or do you shop a lot like online a lot because I feel like that's all I do lately is shop online that is our pile palette's got so large and so just topping up the green that's the thing with these kind of looks you kind of do need to go back in and fix them all right so let's finally change what brush I'm using oh my god I love that shade just clean that brush again and then let's go in as I will say both of these parts have so much kick up which I mean, at this stage of the game, doesn't really bother me as a thing because colourful palettes just seem to have a lot of loose pigment. So this side has like zero fallout, the right, and this left side is a heap of fallout. I don't know if you can see all this purple that's here. Let's just see if I can nicely swipe it off. Alright, perfect. One of the things I really hate with fallout is when you do that and it leaves like a streak on your face. All right, so I'm just gonna go off camera and put mascara and eyeliner on and I shall return. All right, I'm back. So I've got ColourPop Zulu on the eye waterline. I just bought this the other day and I've been dying to use it. Fenty Fly Liner for my liner. Nars Climax is on mascara. And my lips were just feeling a bit dry so I chucked on Jeffree Star Ice Cold. So let's bring you in to the look closer and this is your chance to take a guess because I'll tell you in a minute and I'm I'm so impressed I'm so proud of myself for being able to not use the stamp I mean they're still not even but they're better than they've been like ever before so take your guess the right side the left side I'm gonna reveal it now Jeffree Star, Kat Von D, Pastel Goth. Now, 
on the eyes, they're not as exact dupes as they are when I compared them on my arm. But this is a pretty similar look and pretty similar colors that you can pull from. This is a large portion of the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette, pretty well duped out. So for this battle of the palettes, I'm super pumped, but Jeffree Star Jawbreaker has definitely won. And I don't know, the Pastel Goth, I feel like I can kind of forget about it now. I got this baby. I know Jeffree Star in his own way is problematic, but fuck man, these are some nice eyeshadows. And I have the same problem with my Kat Von D products. I've spoken about this one before on my channel and a lot of you have said to continue using what I already have in my collection. And look, to be honest, her products releases since uh, the 10 year anniversary palette. Nothing's caught my attention, so I don't give a shit really anyway. But Jeffree Star, that guy keeps coming out with some fantastic palettes and eyeshadows and God damn, there's just so many options and you can have so much fun on this palette. I've been having a lot of fun with this palette. I just, I absolutely love all, I love all the looks I've created with it. I've had a lot of fun playing with it and you can really, the dimension is here. It's amazing. What I might just do, because I haven't yet dug into it, is put a little bit of the jawbreaker on my inner corner and we can do it on both eyes now. Yay. <laughs> this mirror is so large though. Awesome. I just love a little bit of shimmer. I don't think it makes much difference for you on the camera, but for me, it does. So let me know what you thought of this look, this video. Do you have a better idea for a name for it? Battle of the Palettes? I feel like I'm going to keep doing this. I did this with Anastasia Beverly Hills, Alyssa Edwards versus Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions. And I have plenty of eyeshadows to keep doing this for you guys. So let me know if this is something I should continue doing. Let me know what you thought of today's look. Let me know if you got it correct. Did you win? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're new here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing. And if you're returning, like, yes, you guys know I love you. You're amazing. Um, anyway, I'm off. <laughs>